welcome back to my channel guys so today i'm back again with another powerful strategy you just need to watch this strategy watch this video if you want to make hundred dollars two hundred dollars three hundred dollars and even five hundred dollars you need to watch this video if you really want to flip your account from hundred dollar to two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars and four hundred dollars and even five hundred dollars as the case may be so you need to watch this video if you really want to flip your account right over the weeks i've gotten a feedback from people comment that they need a strategy they can use to scalp on one thousand or cash and boom right that they need a strategy they can use to scrap to scalp on board on boom and crash so today uh, i'm back with that strategy right i'm back with that strategy that you can use to scalp right so the strategy basically we'll be using two time frame right so the first thing is that we are using what the zoom level the first thing is that now the zoom level is going to be this right the zoom level is going to be this you all know that this is what well, this is zero zoom level this is zoom level one zoom level two zoom level three and finally zoom level four so we'll be using the word we'll be using zoom level two which is this so that is the first thing right and we'll be working with two time frames our first time frame we are going to be working with is this sorry we're working with two time frames right we're working with two time frames the first time frame is our what our h1 and the second one is our m1 you can see they both have a subscript of what one 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 so that's the time frame and then on the issue of our stop loss now and I'll take profit we're gonna be targeting so for our take profits now for our take profit we'll be targeting uh for our take profit we're actually looking to take five to ten candles right we're actually looking to take five to ten candles you can see i did start the words the video as that what immediately i enter it so we'll be looking for what for five or ten candles as a case may be right and the strategy works quite very fine with boom and crash let me see crash 1000 let's see if our record is being made. okay 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 so for crash 1000 now we could actually see that we can take an entry here because looking at this now this is a bms right this is a bms so this shows us our this is a bms the downside this shows what we are in a down trend right but as we are in the round trend now we can still scarf and take our words our five to ten candles knowing very well that after a lower this is a lower low right uh this is a lower high this is a lower high so we'll not have this lower low so near after that after a lower low is being formed the next we are going to perform is going to be a what a lower high so guys you need to learn to take the what's the price action know the price action so you can see that since this bms here we are actually in a downtrend so we can actually scalp this by now because by the time we look at our what our one minute time frame it actually meet up with our what with our entry so you can actually see that crash 1000 did meet up with our what with our that our what our confirmation so i have taken a what an entry there so looking to take what five to ten candles right looking to take five to ten candles though so my entry is a little bit it's that's outstanding all right let's watch how it's going to be all right let's watch how it's going to be all right let's watch how it's going to be all right and uh let's see 
another one from 500 let's see if we can actually take an entry uh so for boom from 500 now we know the trend in boom 500 is actually going to be what uptrend so if you are looking to scalp it's going to be right it has to be in downtrend it's actually in downtrend but we are starting i guess we are starting our we are starting an uptrend so it's not really advisable for us to because it's not advisable for us to so we can be expecting more of spike here we can be expecting more of spike here All right let's go back to our what our uh, boom 1000 you can see All right you can see we've taken how many candles one we've taken one two three four five six seven eight nine or oh, actually on the nine can do so guys so that is we've talked about the time frame we've talked about the zoom level now we we'll go to we'll go on what on the what we we'll go on the confirmation to take our entry and our exit right so the first confirmation is that we we'll need to go to our what to our one hour time frame on our one hour time frame now the basic thing we are going to be doing there is looking at the what the trend of the market we have to look at the trend of the market is the market in an uptrend or in downtrend so for boom now the market has to be in a downtrend before you can start before you can think of using this strategy if really you want it to be as 100 percent accurate because this strategy is no loss no loss once you follow the words once you follow the instruction so the first confirmation is for you to go to your h1 that was why i said we are using two time frame our h1 and our one minute time frame right so on the h1 now you are basically checking the trend now look at it on this h1 now this is obviously this is it this is a what this is a bms to the upside telling you that we are in a what we are in an uptrend right but as we have gotten an option there, this is our what our higher high, right? This is our lower uh, higher low, right? So after higher high is being formed, we need to form a what a lower low. That is why we're having this cell here, right? That is why we're having the cell here, right? Because so we can basically say this is a what this is a downtrend, right? So that is where we can conveniently take our what. Uh, five to ten candles without being af without being caught up with spike right without being caught up with spike so that is the first confirmation and that is the first confirmation so we can go down to what after you've confirmed your what your structure on one hour time frame in, your structure in the sense that you consider your what your trend right on one hour time frame then you can conveniently go back to what to five minute to one hour one minute time frame now and on one minute time frame now what we'll be doing is that we we'll need to have this cross, right? We need to have this crossover here of this indicator. Basically, we are using two indicators. We are using two indicator, right? Let me give you the setting for it. Basically, we are using two indicator. The first one is our moving average. The period is 10. Shift is zero. Method is linear. Apply to what? Apply to weighted close HLC slash four. The style you can use any style of your choice, but for the sake of this video, if you want to have the same thing that I have installed on my phone, you can what you can use three style and what your color is going to be black. Once you are done, you click on what you click on done. Right, guys, I've taken 10 candles already. I've taken 10 candles already. Let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, eleven save. I'm even on the twelfth one. So, guys, let me just close because i only want to be taking more than what more than 10 candles i don't want to be listening too much right remember it's just going to be five to ten candles right i'll be right back so guys i come back so i've taken what i've taken my profit already right i've taken my profit already right so so the second indicator we are going to be using is that you click on this f here right the second indicator is going to be our what our bollinger band the period is five the deviation is what 0 0.50 please please take note of this this is where the logic is this is the main thing we are using the first one which is our moving average does not really matter right this is the main thing that matter so please pay attention please pay attention to this thing 
pay attention to this area here now so we are actually going to be using this right right the period is five the deviation is 0 0.0 0 0.5 right 0 0.5 please take note of it and look at this apply here eh? please take note of this thing apply to what previous indicator data previous indicator data this is the main thing here yeah. that is telling you that we are actually trying to lay this Bollinger band on our moving average that we applied that the first indicator that we applied which was our moving average right so that means this Bollinger band is going to be working in line with what with the moving average so this is where the logic comes now this is where the logic comes now remember that on the moving average you are actually using 10 right 10 in the sense that this is a dynamic support and what and resistance the period is 10 telling us actually what a dynamic support and resistance already and it can actually give us what to filter the trend it can give us the directional bias that we have understand it can actually tell if you are in a downtrend or in an uptrend right so that is why we are using so we actually wanted this bollinger banner to function as a word at a trend indicator because we use the words we use the moving average for trend bias to determine our trend are we in an uptrend or we are in a downtrend so we also want the bollinger band to do the same thing for us to act as a word as a trending indicator for us so that is why we are we are using this apply to us to be in what the previous indicator data please take note of it this is the complication remember i've already told you that don't use any indicator without you understanding the pros and the cons of that indicator right don't use any indicator without you understanding the pros and the cons of the indicator meanwhile if you are here to subscribe to my youtube channel please hit on that subscribe button now and make sure you turn on the bell notification please and sure and also share the video with friends let them also benefit right remember trading has to be found remember you need to watch, share the video and put a smile on someone's head right we need to make the riff the riff has really done a lot of things for all of majority of us right so we need to just pay them back this is their payback time because we've gotten the tools we need to pay them back right so share this video with friends or groups any whatsapp group or telegram group that you have Right, let's reach a very good audience and what let's put a smile to every trader as there that is still struggling to work to be profitable in this trading journey, guys. And make sure you watch, you also join my telegram channel. Make sure you also join my telegram channel. On my telegram channel, I do do once I'm having my class with some of my premium class with my premium students on price action, I do share the links. To my world to my telegram channel so you also learn and benefit from them too right so guys once you are done you click on what you click on done you click on done you can see it's still going because we're actually in a downtrend that is always simple fact also you can see this is what i'm saying about my telegram channel right you can see this is what i'm saying about my telegram channel right straight with this is what i'm saying with my telegram channel you can see like yesterday now which is 26 Oh, the view for yesterday, which was 26, we did have a what a class, right? So look at it's one of the major thing. It's one of the what the major thing is one of the major thing, right? It's one of the major what one of the major thing in the world. See, so it's all about liquidity. Because one thing about the market is that the markets will never move without them taking up liquidity. I will also show you an application of this if time permit on this particular video. Right, you can see we have, we have okay that same day i did have like two lectures with my students right we have the reversal pattern the pattern that are available when the share is coming to and so guys if you are here to what to subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel and also what and also join my what join my telegram channel right and also join my telegram channel right you can see can you just see after we've taken our what, our 10 candles or oh, i did have a spike right we did have a spike at the very point that we took out our 10 candles right so guys you don't need to be greedy with this strategy as in you don't need to be greedy with this strategy you don't need to be greedy at all just take your five to ten candles and you are out and you will never be caught with spike you will never and if you have been caught up with spike 
just a little strike, it can't go back to your end, it can't go beyond your entry price. It can't. Once you put into the consideration the what the confirmation we are going to be discussing about, right? So once you put that into confirmation, right, you cannot have that. Right, you cannot have that. So let me just pull out the what the confirmation that we'll be looking at for. So the confirmation we are going to be looking at for now is this. The confirmation we are going to be looking at for this is this now. Now you need to go to your one hour time frame. On your one hour time frame, once you ascertain that you are in a downtrend, remember I've I did actually like giving you the structure for this, right? I've given you the structure for this, right? I've given you the structure that this is a what? This is a VMS. This is a lower low, right? Uh, I, this is an higher higher low. This is an this is an higher what higher low. This is an higher high, an higher high. They break the structure here, telling us we are in a what we are in an uptrend. Right? The last BMS that we have was was plus to the upside. So this is telling us we are in a what in an uptrend. But one thing there is that after we have this BMS to the upside here. Right after that means oh, they've given us an higher eye. After an higher eye is being formed, you still need that's why you need your price action. After an higher eye is being formed, the next thing that will form is going to be what a lower and higher low. So this higher low now is actually what we call the downtrend, and which is the stage that we have in this market now. So that is why you can have this, right? That is why we can have this. Let's look at our crash 1000. Let's look at our crash 1000. You can easily see that we did analyze our crash 1000. I've even forgotten, right? Wow, we've taken more than 10. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We've taken more than 10, too, right? The same thing that we have on what's on the 1000 is the same thing that we have. Look at now on our crash 1000. Look at the last BMS that we have was to the downside, which is telling us we are in a downtrend, right? But as we are in a downtrend now, They've given us this now. They've given us this as our what? As our lower low. After lower low, what else are we waiting for? We are waiting for what? For a lower high. So this lower high now is what we are looking for. This is the buy that we are, we are currently on. So that is why we can go down to our what? To our one minute time frame and completely take 10 minute can, 10 candles without being caught up with spike, right? Guys, you need to follow the instruction go down to your one hour time frame first look at the structure that you have well let me close this i don't want to be too greedy i don't want to be too so guys you don't need to be too greedy on this you don't need to be too greedy on this so just go down once you move down to your one hour time frame confirm your structure confirm your structure once you confirm your structure you are good to go down to your one minute time frame and take your five to ten candles Right. Remember the way we did analyze this thing. You need to understand your what your price action, your top down analysis. Right? The trend is always your friend. The reason why many people say that ah, we have a strategy, the strategy is not working, is because you are not trading the strategy in line with the trend. You need to follow the trend. You need to follow the trend. The trend is always your what? Always your friend. Always your friend. So we've installed what the strategy now. We are using two indicator. Right? We are using two indicator. The first one is our moving average, right? Moving average, then you can see we're giving the settings. And so the first confirmation we are looking for now is that, remember that for crash 1000 now, the default set, the, the default trend on crash is that the when the crash is on downtrend, we're having a what, a series of spike. You can see we're having a series of spike, spike, spike. So it has to be what, if you want to scrap this thing, it has to be on what, it has to be on an uptrend. And that is what we just just confirmed. So crash one thousand was actually on our uptrend. That was why we could be able to take our what our ten candles conveniently without being caught up with spike, right? Without being caught up with spike. So this is how the what the indicator works. So once you confirm that on your one hour time frame you are in an uptrend for crash one thousand or crash five hundred or crash three hundred, then you can conveniently go there. And now now is going to be telling you that now you can use this indicator now to also check. If you don't know your what your low market structure, now look at it here now. Look at this area here. This is a lower high, right? Because the reason why it's a lower high, this is also a lower high too, right? This is a lower high too. This is a lower low, right? Right? This is a lower low. Why? Right? Now look at it from this indicator perspective. Look at it from this indicator perspective, right? 
look at it from this indicator perspective, we can see that they actually what we did have a spike, right? But the spike is coming that we look at it from this perspective. Now look at this here. Oh, let me reduce the intensity of this. I don't want the video to be too large, but guy, we just need to understand our top down analysis. We need to understand our top down analysis is very, very important. It's very important, right? It's very important. So that is it. Look and see here now. We did okay. We did have this is a lower eye, right? This is a lower low. This is a lower eye. This is a lower low. This is a lower eye. And this is a what this is not the lower low, right? Now look at it here. Look at here that we did have this lower eye. Now look at it from this perspective, right? You can see it's far, far, far below the what the indicators, the Bollinger band and our moving average. Now, when you now have this as our lower low, you can see you have a what a spike down, and then you have a retracement. The retracement now is stopping at our what is stopping at our what is stopping at our moving average, which is our 10 moving average. Look at it here. It's stopping at our 10 moving average. You can see. You can see. So that was how I'm telling you that don't use any indicator when you don't understand it. When you don't understand it, right? Don't use, never use any indicator without you understanding that indicator. I told you our 10, for the fact that we use the period of our moving average to be 10, is actually what a trending moving average. Right, it can act as what as a dynamic support and dynamic resistance, right? And once it is at resistance, resistance will buy at will sell at resistance while we buy at what at support, right? So that is why whenever you did have a buy, the buy will come. Now, if I didn't close that trade now, I can actually swing this. I can still use this strategy to swing, right? But that one is going to be very difficult, right? If you don't know your top down analysis. If you don't know your top down analysis, it's going to be very difficult. Because now I will have been looking to take my final TP at this area where the market is going to be touching our our term our term moving average, right? Because I know there will be a very massive spike there. Right. So that is it. So if you are in a downtrend now for crash one thousand, right, the market will always after a lower low is being formed, right? There will always be a lower high, and the lower high will always be returned back to the what to the two to the two moving to the two indicator that we are using, the moving average ten, right, and our what and our Bollinger band. So take note of it. Take note of it. Right. Take note of it. So once we have that that we are in a downtrend, right, we have that that we are in a downtrend. We can now go down to our what. So our one minute time frame then we need on one minute time frame now we'll now be waiting for what for a spike so after the spike we'll now wait for the what for the crossover of these two moving now which we did have here now as you can see that my entry was around here right after we have this crossover, i was able to take my what my exit here right which is about 10 candles or more right so that is it that is it right that is it right that is one Look at this is another one here. See, this is another one here. I will have the crossover. You take your after the crossover of the two moving average, you take your thought, you take your five to ten candles and you are what and you are good to go, right? You can see, you can see, see here too. So, guys, if you follow the instructions, see, see here too, you'll have taken your words, your five to ten candles. Without me cut off the spike, don't be too greedy, guys. Don't be too greedy. Just take five, just take your five candles to ten candles and your heart of the market. Don't be too greedy, guys. It works perfectly on boom and crash. So I'm making the very dynamic what a strategy now, right? I'm making a very dynamic strategy now that works both fine, good, fine, good, and what on boom and crash. Any of the boom and crash, we can see we've tested it on crash 1000 and boom 500 and boom 1000, right? We've tested it on that. So, this is another one here, guys. See, this is another one. So, just follow the instruction, guys. Follow the instruction. Always wait for what for a spike first, and after the spike, you wait for the crossover of the moving average, and you can take your what you can take your five to ten candles, right? You can take your five to ten candles. Right, this is another one here. This is another entry here. 
you take your five to ten candles and you're out. So for the boom now that we did have this year, I see for this boom that we did have it here. You can see my entry was on this boom now. We was at ten or an hour one hour time frame that was we were in a downtrend, right? We was at ten now an hour time frame now. This is what I'm telling you guys. See now we have this, we have this as our as our higher low, right? And this is our what our higher high. Now look at we have a BMS here. So after that BMS. Have to give us our what our higher high. So after an higher, what are we waiting for? We are waiting for what for an higher low, right? We are waiting for an higher low. You can see what you can see. It's actually trending below the indicator, which is telling you is a what is a downtrend, right? So that was why I could even go to my what to my one minute time frame, right? You can see that my entry was actually here. My entry was here. Then I take. I write there this down to take my five to ten candles, right? Five to ten candles. So guys, do your back test very well. Do your back test very well. Do your back test very well. See, this is another one. This is another entry here. Ah, uh, crossover. You take your what? You take your five to ten candles and your house. This is another what? Another one here after a spike. After this spike, so you take your what? Your five to ten candles and your house. Right, guys. Guys, do where to what to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? And make sure please share the video also with your friends. Share the video also with your friends, right? I don't want the video to be too long. High 26 minutes. No, no, no. I don't want the video to be too long. So, guys, do where to do your back test. See, this is another entry here. See, this is another entry. You wait for the spike first. Right, then you now wait for the crossover and you take your, your five to ten candles. The same thing here, five to ten candles. Guys, if I can categorically tell you with confirmation boldness that if you follow this strategy, we follow the confirmation, right? If you follow the rules, hardly would you lose. Hardly will you lose. Will you be caught up with what with spike? And if the the rules is that you need to go down to your what your one hour time frame first. Check the structure. Check the trend that you have. The trend is always your friend. The trend is always your friend. So check the trend that you have. Are you in a trending market? Because if you are looking to scalp boom now, boom has to be in the world. And that's me a downtrend, right? Is it that, that you are in a downtrend already? Or you just have a recent BMS to the upside? So after that BMS to the upside, you are waiting for what? For a retracement. So you can take that retracement and go down. Guys, your way to back test very well, right? And they are sharing the video. Advise them to what to subscribe to, like, comment. Let me know in the comment section what you want me to be talking about. And hopefully, maybe by next month, I would actually be starting a live class, a live analysis that will come online on YouTube, and then we we'll analyze together. And I also start a price action with you guys, a price action class with you guys. We we'll talk about our trend how we can identify the trend how we can what we can identify the reversal pattern in terms of candlestick reversal pattern is of two types we have the reversal pattern in terms of candlestick we have the reversal pattern in terms of what of pure price actions right right so i'll be talking about the what the one of the candlestick right the one of the candlestick and also talking about our, our entry and our exits how we can do Probably our top down analysis, how we can analyze the trend lines. I'll be talking about those things, right? So if you want to be part of that live class on YouTube that we'll analyze together and take you together, you will check the description button, you will see my description, you will see my WhatsApp number. They actually message me on WhatsApp with your name and then I can save you. So I'm going to add you to that group, right? Then I'll give you a regular update on when we'll be starting the live stream the live analysis, the live transaction, right? So I'll give you the updates and the time, right, guys? So, guys, let's keep making the riff. Do well to backtest very well, backtest very well, backtest very well, and let me know in the comment section how it goes with you because let me have that feedback, that testimony of guys who are able to work, to build your account, you are able to work, to make the riff back. So until the next time you'll be hearing from me, guys, Let's keep making the riff. Let's keep making the riff. We just need to be profitable in this trading of the team. And trading has to be fun. 
guys see you next again until the next time